4-H Foundation Regional Extension Agent for Talladega County. And today I'm going to show you how to tie some fish knots so that you can get outside and go. And I'm Janet Lovelady, 4-H Foundation Regional Extension Agent for Coosa and Chilton Counties. If you're going to learn to tie knots with us today, there's just a couple of simple things you'll need. A ring object, could be a shower ring, a key ring, a washer, and some string. If you're going to get out and go fishing with us later, after you learn to tie your knots, you'll need a rod and reel equipped with a lure or a hook with some kind of bait. Don't forget your safety gear. We're starting with the improved clinch knot, a great way to attach your hook or your lure to your fishing line. First, you'll take the loose end of your string, also called the tag end, and push it through your ring. Pull it through about six inches. Next, twist the ring so that your two strings overlap about five or six times. Take the tag end of the string, push it through the loop closest to your ring. Pull it through just a little bit, then take that tag end and push it through the loop that you just made in the previous step. Pull the two ends gently but tightly and you have an improved cinch knot. The Palomar knot is an easy but strong knot that's great for attaching your hook to a light line. Once again, you'll need your ring and your practice string. Fold one end of the practice string over on itself, creating a loop at the end. Push the loop through the ring. Tie a loose overhand knot. Before you pull that tight, pass the ring through the loop. When you pull it tight, you'll have a Palomar knot. Great job. One way to connect two pieces of line together is a blood knot. To practice the blood knot, you'll need two strings and you may want to tie a small knot on the end of each one to mark your working end. Lay the strings side by side with the working ends on opposite sides. Overlap string number one over string number two five or six times. You may want to hold the strings in the middle so that you know where you begin overlapping. Then you'll overlap string number two over string number one on the other side. Again, you'll do this five or six times. Bring both working ends to the middle and push them through the loop. Pull tight on each string until the knot is snug. You have a blood knot. Well done on your knots. Let's gather up our gear and get out and go fishing. We have our fishing pole. We've collected our worms. We're on our way to our favorite fishing spot. If you'd like to know more about 4-H and our fishing programs and activities, call your county extension office or go to alabama4h.com.